everybody, you are on Andrew Mikhailovich channel and today I'm going to show you how to install Windows 11 on unsupported laptop or PC. All the process are very simple, just repeat after me. So let us start it. At the beginning we need to go to our browser, in my case it's Google Chrome. Then right next, Windows 11, download ISO and press enter. After that, we can go to the official website Microsoft, all the link will be in the description. Then scroll down a little bit and you can see, download Windows 11 disk image ISO. Select Windows 11 multi edition ISO, click download and now you only need to choose language, in my case it will be English, but you can choose the language you like the most. Click here and voila, right now we can install ISO file. How you can see, it have about 5 GB of memory, it's not so large and not so small. So, when the ISO file is downloaded on our laptop or PC, we can open it, but very important information, we need to run it as administrator, click here. Just wait for it. Preparing 100%. Click next. And now you will see that my laptop Dell E6430 doesn't support Windows 11. This PC doesn't currently meet Windows 11 system requirement. This PC must support TPM 2.0. This PC must support security boot. Don't be worried about that, just close this icon. Right now I will show you how to fix this problem. At the beginning we need to copy this link. The link will be in the description. Then we need to go to our browser and insert link here. Press enter. At this stage we need to save this file on our computer. It will solve our problem and then we can run Windows 11 an unsupported PC or laptop. Works 100%. How you see, I saved this file on computer twice, so I will delete one of them. And now I will extract this file to folder. Click here, click another time, the third time. And now we need to run this file as administrator. Very important thing, you just need to wait. Don't push any button. That's all. However, it looks we fixed the problem. The second try. Right now, I'm going to repeat all the process which I was trying to do at the first time. And now we will see if Windows 11 will be installed on unsupported PC. Windows preparing 100%. Checking your PC. Right now we will see the result, we are getting a few things ready and voila! Right now we can install Windows 11 without any problem on your laptop or PC. Next, do you want to continue using this selection? Yes, please wait. OK, ready to install, install Windows 11 education, keep personal file only, install, installing Windows server. So guys, right now my laptop will be restarted and I will shot video on my smartphone Google Pixel 3, <laughs> sorry for my dirty display, but how you see I also solve this problem right now loading process right now we need just to wait when the windows will be installed on our laptop and i will show you how it run on dell e6430 laptop since 2014 but it have intel core i5 processor third generation honestly i even can imagine that it will be so easy to install windows 11 on this laptop 
In fact, it's the first time when I'm going to see how Windows 11 looks like personally. Right now, I'm running Windows 11 on Dell E6430 laptop. It's the first time. Also, it's my first experience using Windows 11. So actually, I don't know some feature of this operating system. But in future, I will try to know more about this operating system. How you see, my laptop have Intel Core i5 3340M processor, 4GB of RAM, and Windows 11 run without any problem. For example, you install Windows 11, but you're not ready to use it and you want to go back to Windows 10. Actually, you can do this. You need to click on the setting. After that, scroll down a little bit and then you see recovery. Then click go back and then you will recover back to Windows 10. Repeat after me and then you will see how Windows 11 will restart and go back to Windows 10. At the finish we go back to Windows 10. It's my favorite operating system for today, except the Chrome OS Flex. So what we learned today? We know how to install Windows 11 on unsupported PC or laptop. And also, we know how to recover Windows 10 if we install Windows 11. If this video was useful for you, like it and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. We will see soon friends, bye bye.